Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we're going to have a look at another player from this community team of the season, uh, which is going to be Felipe Anderson, uh, one of the top players in this uh, selection. Um, obviously this card looks very, very nice, but uh, I, maybe people are not buying him that much because he had already a 87 storyline, which was uh, an amazing card when it came out. And uh, I think a lot of people, if not most of the people that reached that uh, storyline uh, level uh, picked him. But nonetheless, this is a good upgrade even from that storyline. It's a good upgrade from his base 84 card. We're talking about maybe 60 base stats and 260 in-game stats from his 84. Uh, so we get about half of that from his storyline card. Uh, obviously, this card didn't have a chance of getting into the Premier League um, team of the season. Uh, he didn't have a good season <laughs> this year, Philippe Anderson. Um, it didn't have any special cards or stuff like that. So it's nice at least that we can get him in this um, community team. Uh, in terms of uh, rating, he looks like a very, very nice card. I think uh, this should probably be the best left wing uh, in the Prem at the moment uh, after uh, Team of the Year Mane, uh, his card and stuff like that. The other options will be like uh, uh, Player of the Month Mane, I think, uh, which I think this card, uh, in stats always, we haven't tried him yet, should be better. And uh, also that uh, maybe Leroy Sané, SBC, uh, and I think this card is, um, uh, Philippe Anderson's card is going to be better. Uh, so with that in mind, let's check out his details. We have uh, Philippe Anderson from West Ham, 175. He's so about 5'9". High medium with great work rates there. Four star, four star. Uh, great face stats with 96 pace, 95 dribbling, 90 shooting, uh, 89 passing and 75 physical. Uh, his details, uh, his pace is amazing, 96, 96. Uh, very equal there. You don't need any improvements. Shooting overall 90. Uh, very high. Uh, we get attack positioning 88 to 99 with the dead eye that I already purchased them with. Uh, finishing 86 to 99 as well. Shot power 99, long shots 99. So all his shooting is at 99. So this guy should be deadly uh, in front of the net. Uh, passing level 89, very high passing. You don't really need any improvement here. So you can either go with a dead eye or the sniper. I don't think it will make that much difference. Uh, because he has high vision at 91 and crossing at 91 and short pass at 91. His long pass and curve at 85 and 86 are amazing. Um, dribbling over 95, the second highest stat, agility 96 and balance 93. So he's going to be very nice to control with that ball control as well at 95. Uh, the only problem, not problem really, because it's 83 is reactions. So you shouldn't see any problems there. But uh, you can go with a sniper and up that by 5, I believe, with a sniper. And get that to 88 but uh, like i said i don't believe that's going to be a problem and you'll notice that in his dribbling um defending we'll have uh, over 61 no defending but we have uh, high interceptions at 76 so uh, we've seen this in uh, previous uh, wingers where they don't have any defending but they have high interceptions which turns out to be very beneficial in game where they can actually intercept quite a few balls uh, and help out in defending uh, physical overall 75, this is going to be probably the only weakness in this card where it's going to hold it back. With uh, no jumping, uh, apparently this guy when he wants to jump, he just can't. Uh, at 45, very high stamina, should be enough for a winger uh, at uh, 90 and uh, strength is going to be the weak point at 67, but with high aggression. So hopefully that aggression maybe will counterbalance that strength. Uh, if not, I might want to try him with a marksman chem style. Uh, we're still going to get those uh, few points in shooting that we need. And we also get plus 5 in strength and see if that makes any difference. Uh, traits, we have the finesse shot and the flare. Uh, finesse shot being the one that uh, is going to be the important one that we want to try. Um, finesse shot paired with his shooting stats should be an amazing combination. So I want to find a few occasions where I can use that. So it looks like a very nice card. Um, I bought him at 760 at the moment. It looks to be a bit overpriced still although he's fallen quite a bit from when he came out at over a million. Uh, so let's go and find a few games to play. I don't know how easy that's going to be because a lot of people are relegating stuff like that to do the objective. So let's try and find a few games and test this card out. All right, so here we go with the first team. I don't think this guy is relegating. Uh, looks like a very nice team. Um, very nice, a lot of icons in there. Um, so for the first game, we're going to go into the 4 2 3 one formation. Uh, we're going to test out the uh, team of the season, uh, Felipe Anderson, in the left camp position. So we play him as a left winger in his natural spot. Uh, but we're going to play him with uh, stay forward instructions. All right, there he is. Good move. Oh. oh, yes, win. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, he won that. 
Okay. So, take a pass. No, I almost got it. This one. Take a good pass. The dribbling. Ah, uh, come on. Good. Ah. Go. Good speed. There it is. Nice. Shoot. No, why? That was terrible. There's a good yellow. Shoot. What a finish. What a goal. Go. No steal. Good. Yes. Nice. Nice by Felipe. Good steal. There's that interception there. Good stop. Nice. The dribble. Good yellow. There it is. Again. Shoot. What a goal. Excellent movement. And he's gone. Wow. Okay. So, uh, I don't understand what this guy did there. Um, it was an all right first game for Philippe Anderson. Didn't get a very high match rating, but uh, I see, I see some, I saw some uh, good movements there that I really liked. It was really nice to control. He didn't have any contributions uh, offensively except uh, one shot, uh, one of three passes, four and seven dribbles, and uh, three failed tackles. Um, all in all, it was an okay performance. Uh, so let's go into another game. All right, so here we go with another opponent. This is going to be an objective team, but with some very nice players in there. With them, Rate, Dembele, Cyprian, and Pao. That looks like a very nice team. So we're going to try the same for 2 3 1. Uh, we're going to test out team of the season, Felipe Anderson, in the left camp position uh, with stay forward instructions. It's very explosive. Give a good low. Nice. Yes. Oh, very good cross though. Very nice. Good. No. There he is. Good steal. Good shot. Oh my god. First time shot. Wow. That was amazing. He stole and he first time shot that. Look at that. Not balanced. Wow. That was an amazing shot. There we go. There's Felipe. Let's get it now. Oh no, penalty. No? There it is. Good pass. Shoot. Uh, I wanted to finesse that. So I just straight shot it. Uh, good goal. Go. There it is. There it is. Go, go, go. You're fast. Give me that pass. Nice. A good low finish. Nice. What a goal. Excellent one, two. Nice. Go. Felipe, go. Yes. Nice speed. There it is. Good dribble. Again. Nice. Foul. Oh, oh, foul again. Oh. Penalty. Uh, and he's gone as well. So another quit, but this time he had a few more minutes and a better performance by Philippe Anderson. Uh, one goal, uh, one assist. Uh, that goal was fantastic. Uh, first time uh, shot. Uh, one on three shots on target, two and four passes, uh, five night dribbles, uh, one on two crosses and one on one tackles. I think I would have scored at least one more goal in this game. But uh, in a couple of uh, chances that I had, I was going to that finesse shot to test it out and I missed uh, uh, an easy goal, so uh, a very nice uh, game. Um, let's go into another game. All right, so here we go with another opponent. Uh, this guy is not gonna be doing uh, objectives or anything like that, a very nice team. Uh, Ken Quaresma, Ronaldo Vardy, a lot of speed up front. So we're gonna see this time, uh, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna try team of the season, Philippe Anderson. Uh, in the central camp position, uh, we're gonna play in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. And we also have changed this camp style from the Deadeye Tour and Marksman. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Uh, okay, so we didn't have a chance to play this game. Um, let's go into another game. Alright, let's try this again. Um, another nice team full of special cards, except that Royce. 
mean, come on, you need a special card in there. Uh, that uh, team of the season brand will look uh, good there. Uh, so for this game, we're going to go into the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow this time. We're going to play team of the season Felipe Anderson in the central camp spot. Uh, and we change this camp style from a dead eye to a marksman. Yes, good pass, nice. Get the game out. Get it. Of course you can. Felipe doesn't even make the effort to jump. Alright, so this is not going very well. We're gonna switch to the 4-1-4-2-3-1. Uh, because we cannot get out of here. Get it. Oh my god, that was a goal. Wow. Oh, there it is. There's Felipe. Finesse. Wow, the goal. There's a finesse shot trait. Excellent goal. Press him again. Pass. There we go. There's the goal. 2 1. No. Oh, oh my god. What are these goals he's getting into? No, no, terrible pass there. Why do you. Oh, a little. Shoot. There we go. Very nice. Good drag back, good goal. There we go. Too close there. Go. What? Ah, screw that up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was a nice game. Uh, my opponent really pressured me. He was playing very high pressure from the beginning, so I had to switch to the 4-2-3-1 uh, to balance the game out uh, to get that win. Uh, not a lot from Philippe Anderson. Uh, we get a goal, obviously. We tried that finesse uh, trait and it was amazing. Very nice goal there. Uh, three on three shots, four and six passes, and seven on 15 dribbles. Um, yeah. But let's go again into another game. I want to try him as that central cam in the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. All right, so here is another opponent. I'm seeing so many atolls in this. Uh, in this uh, Opponents that I'm facing so far, I don't know what, what's up with Atal lately. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go into the 41212 narrow. Hopefully, we can play it this time. Uh, we're gonna play Team of the Season Philippe Anderson as a central camp. Uh, we'll say, uh, uh, was it? Stay forward instructions. Lost my words there. Uh, and we've changed this uh, camp style from the Dead Eye to a Marksman. Good goal there. Oh. Shoot. What a goal by Felipe. Excellent goal. Nice goal. Don't stop. Why did you stop, James? Nice. Yes. Yes, Felipe. Good steal again. Go, James. Nice. Yes. Shoot. Oh, shoot again. Felipe. Yes. There it is. Good pass. Shoot. Oh my god, with his blocks. There we go. Go, Felipe. Good pass. Shoot. Oh my god, come on. Go. Nice. There we go. What a finesse shot. Look at these goals, man. What is this guy scoring? Oh, nice. Shoot. All right, so I don't know what happened there. For a second, uh, the uh, obvious froze, uh, my recording froze. So uh, unfortunately, we missed that uh, equalizing goal, but I'm gonna try and get that on the replay. We didn't get the win here. I had to sub out uh, Felipe Anderson. His stamina was done. Uh, he had nothing left, uh, but he played really well, as you can see, 9.0 with one goal, uh, no assists, uh, one on one shot, 14 on 17 passes, 13 on 14 uh, dribbles, no crosses, and 3 on 3 tackles. There we go. Uh, I substituted him here, so it's going to be the 88th minute. This is how we equalize to 3-3, three, three. Uh, and we get uh, that result. So, uh, that was another good game. Let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have team of the season, uh, Felipe Anderson. 
uh, 92 rated, very nice card. We played uh, four games. We actually had one game where the guy quit. So we played four games, uh, three goals and one assist. Uh, this is uh, what the marksman applies as we switch that to the last game, I think, or the two last games, I think. So we get plus five in attack position to 93 and finishing to 96. Uh, volleys to 95. So all his shooting is still there, uh, I believe. Uh, everything is fine. We get the dribbling instead of the passing, but like I said, the passing is fine with 91 vision, crossing and short pass, uh, 85 long pass and 86 curve. You don't need really any improvement. Uh, we get the plus five in reactions to 88. Uh, we up the rest to 99, a few stats there in dribbling. And we get plus 10 in jumping, which really you won't see any difference. Uh, but you get plus five in strength and plus five in aggression. Did I really see it in game? I don't think I saw it really. So I don't know. Uh, they both uh, were the same for me. I didn't see any difference in terms of the chem style. So you can put whatever chem style is, suits, uh, suits you. Uh, the key to this guy is going to be his pace. Uh, his uh, dribbling is amazing. Uh, any shooting. Uh, I only talked, took a, a few shots. I didn't have a chance to take many shots. But uh, every shot he took was um, either a goal or on goal. Uh, but uh, his finesse shot with the trade is very good. His direct shot is very fast and very powerful, uh, very accurate. So all in all, I, I really like this card. I really, really do. I didn't think I would like him this much, but uh, it's a solid winger card. And between the two positions, uh, I would probably play him as a uh, winger because uh, I played him in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Um, and we played the balanced uh, five four with fast build up six six, uh, and he was playing at the central cam as you can see here. And his instructions were to stay forward, so there wasn't any tracking back. But still, uh, at the eighty fifth minute somewhere around there, he didn't have any stamina whatsoever, so he wasn't good for ninety minutes. Uh, on the other hand, in the uh, left uh, cam position or left winger. He was fine with his stamina, no problems whatsoever. So as a left winger, I really rate this card. Uh, not at this price, I would expect this card to drop under 700 as soon as the team of the season uh, guarantee pack drops either today or tomorrow for the community team. I think this guy would drop under 700 for sure. Then it's probably going to be a good buy until the Premier League uh, team of the season comes and maybe we have a competition in that spot. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.